If God created queer people, but then God is unhappy with us, what kind of God is that? That's a really cruel God. And that's not a God I want to worship. I'm a gay bodybuilding tattooed priest who serves in the Episcopal Church. I am known on Instagram as the Jacked Priest. My social media life is a very mixed bag. On the negative side, I have gotten violence and death threats on social media. I have been called a child molester. I've been called a false prophet, a fake priest, an apostate, a heretic. I just block them and delete them. But that is nothing in comparison with all of the wonderful DMs I, and comments that I get from people who say to me, by showing myself to be openly gay as well as a religious leader, that has been so heartening to them because they didn't think that was possible. I had grown up in a rather abusive household with an abusive stepfather, picked on because I was gay and effeminate. I really struggled with that. And so when I came to high school, I started uh, lifting weights and I discovered that I could be athletic. I could set goals for myself that were very empowering and affirming and now, Bodybuilding has been my lifelong companion. Ethan grew up in a Jewish household, but after a crisis of faith, he drifted away from organized religions until he discovered the Episcopal Church. I thought you had to be gay to get into the Episcopal Church. There are so many queer people who were out, who were open, who had partners or spouses. I got involved in the church and I felt myself come alive again. Ethan was also coming alive with his personal identity. The first uh, real awakenings I had were in junior high school, high school. Uh, I, you know, had crushes on boys. I remember later on, I thought Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic was really, really cute. And I was just like, oh, he's so dishy. But then I ended up marrying my college sweetheart. Uh, we were married for uh, three and a half years together for seven. My wife had actually really been so nurturing and affirming that I think it got me to a place where I could come out and have that understanding of myself. And it was very, very difficult to come out. I, I exploded out of the closet. I met somebody out at a gay bar and that's really when I think I came out definitively. And uh, that was that. Being a gay priest in the Episcopal Church, Ethan found himself in a very loving community, but it hasn't always been easy. I served a Latino congregation. I, even though I was very clear up front that I was a gay priest and I had a partner, some of the Hispanic men uh, had a real problem with that. It really challenged cultural taboos around machismo and that was a problem that I really couldn't overcome. The challenges that come with being a gay priest haven't stopped Ethan from being fully himself as he wears his faith and identity on his skin. I have six tattoos currently. All of them are um, related to my journey to becoming a priest. Favorite one is probably this one, uh, which is Jacob wrestling with the angel of God. I've always felt that that's kind of my relationship with God. God really stretches and challenges me and forces me to do things that I don't really want to do um, because it kind of leads to my being my full self. Ethan's message about God and queer people resonates loud and clear, both through the church's alleys and on social media. If God created queer people, right, in God's image, but then God is unhappy with us, considers us sinful because we're queer. What kind of God is that? That's a really cruel God. And that's not a God I want to worship. My message for everybody is that you are God's beloved child. God created you the way that you are and God finds nothing deficient or broken about you for being queer, for being gay, for being trans. You are loved and don't let anybody out there tell you different.